Good day, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube land. Rocknot here with another weekly pickup video. This one is a little bit of X original Xbox and a little bit of Nintendo, as you can see right there. So these are the pickups throughout the week that I've got. Uh, not a whole lot of stuff, but good quality for the amount of money I paid. I'll tell you right off the hop, I paid $35 for everything here, and there's actually... Um, Three items met or four items missing. Sorry, five total items missing from everything here. All right, so let's just get right down to it. We'll start with the Xbox games. I just picked these up like maybe an hour ago. Uh, Crimson Skies: High Road to Revenge. It is complete with disc and manual. Let's just. Uh, I took a look at the disc earlier when I was there, and it's in. Um, Pretty mint condition. Manual's in good condition too. Uh, yeah, pick that up along with Prince of Persia Warrior Within. I used to own this game uh, way back for the GameCube and I traded them in a few years ago and I've actually just started getting the Prince of Persia series back because I actually really like the games. And as you can see, again, mint condition disc. Just needs a little bit of, you know, cleaning there it's a little bit dusty and came with the manual as well couple little marks right there once I get it in focus perfect but nothing you know nothing I can't live with alright so Fred Sport Persia Warrior Within and Splinter Cell Chaos Theory this is actually like the third copy of this game I've owned uh, two for the uh, <laughs> two for the PS2 and one for the Xbox I might I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one. Um, well, it is a mint condition disc, so it is the best condition discs of all of them that I've picked up. I might keep it just because it's the Xbox, and I like playing shooters on the Xbox because of the layout of the controller. So I might keep that. It's got a little bit of sticker residue on it, but other than that, pretty good. So let's get, so that's my Xbox pickup. Five bucks for those three games. Not bad. Not bad. Could have done better, but five bucks, not bad. So let's get into my NES haul for the day. This NES haul actually included two systems. Here's the uh, what was advertised as the non-working system, which actually I did get to work. I think the pins uh, have bit the dust on this one because you know all you retro gamers know that you know when you put a a cartridge in there you get a little bit of resistance not with this system so I think the pins on this one are shot and I'm gonna have to replace those so I'll just go on eBay and see if I can get one I think there's some on there for like 13 bucks with free shipping so I'll probably grab that the other consoles actually hooked up to my retro TV downstairs and and it works perfectly a couple of the games are dirty but all I had to do is just clean them up and they work fine so I actually got two NES consoles um, this one is actually cosmetically in better condition. The other one has a couple of dings on that corner and that corner, but other than that, the other one works and this one semi-works. So if I replace the pins in this one and it works perfectly, then I will be keeping this one. But both of them need a little bit of external TLC. I, got, I ended up getting uh, two AC adapters for them. So the other AC adapter is downstairs with the other console and only one RF switch. But I have an RF switch for my Super Nintendo so I just interchange those or I'll just use one of my extra AV cords that I have for my Super Nintendo. I end up getting four controllers with the bundle. All four of them seem to work. And here is like what I'm calling the highlight of this of this, the games. Some of the games are really good. Uh, I'm really stoked about some of them, and some of them, like the one top here, Jack Nicholas Golfing. Nah, not a golfing fan. I'll probably keep it just for the collection. Um, if somebody ends up giving me an offer on it, I, I might sell it because I'll probably never play it. I'm not a golf fan. And as you can see, most of the games came with a nice dust sleeve. Oh, before we get into the rest of the games, this also came with it. Nice little case for the games. It holds about 11 games. One, two, 
oh sorry, ten games. Holds ten games, so I only have three three games that are sitting outside of this little case. So not bad. Uh, second game in the package. RC Pro Am. Played a little bit. I like it. I never did play that game as a kid. But uh, yeah, it's actually not bad. Once you get into it, it it's pretty decent with a joystick. And I've got a couple of those. Uh, top secret episode of Glogo 13. Um, interesting game to say the least. Um, not really hard to get into, but uh, yeah, I did play it. It works fine. It, it's not a bad game. This game I'd actually never even heard of for the Nintendo. Fisher Price, I can remember. Um, I haven't played it. I don't know anything about it. Um, yeah. I might let my kids try it because it would be about their age. But yeah, I haven't played it. Probably keep it just for, just because it's probably um, not something you, you see often. <laughs> and then we got... The Little Mermaid by Capcom. Um, yeah, I did play it. Eh, not a huge fan, but again, I'll keep it uh, for for the collection. This game was interesting playing. <laughs> Ghostbusters 2. And a very interesting game. Again, it works as well. Um, I don't think there's... I think all the labels for these games are are fairly mint. Not much in the way. The the cartridges themselves are have a little bit of white markings on them and that'll probably rub off easily. Ice hockey. I remember playing this game as a kid. God was it ever hard to play. But yeah, it's in pretty good condition as well. And I've got two copies of this game, Mario Brothers, without the duck hunt. Um un the unfortunate part is this this one works, and this one doesn't. They're both in really good condition, except the pins on this one are absolutely horrible. Let's see if I can get it to focus again. There it goes. Yeah. I, I'll try cleaning it up and see if I can get it to work. Maybe make some money off it. But, uh, yeah, so far it doesn't work. And then the second installment in the series, Super Mario Brothers 2. Stoked to have that one. And we've all seen enough copies of this one, Super Mario Brothers 3. It's got a little bit of label damage there, so if I can find a copy without label damage, I'll probably grab it. And I'd never heard of this game, Clue Clue Land. I played it. It's actually a really interesting game. And apparently it's uh, worth about $25 on its own. So, yeah, getting the whole getting the whole set for uh, for 30 is, is paying off. Uh, but yeah, Clue Clue Land, not bad. Not bad. And then, the gem of this whole thing. Honestly, I was like in awe. My jaw dropped when I, when I saw this game inside the case. Mega Man 3. I love the Mega Man series. I own uh, the Mega Man Collection Anniversary Ed Edition, which is Mega Man's 1 through 8 on the GameCube. Getting this for my for my first NES pickup, excellent. Excellent, because actually this is the one Mega Man I remember playing from as a kid. I never did really get into the Mega Man Collection as, as a kid. I was more into the Double Dragons and whatnot. But I am definitely into them now that I've been playing 1 through 8 on the GameCube and would like to get them uh, on the NES, just for nostalgic reasons. So yeah, that's my NES haul for today, or for the week. So two, two NES systems, one works perfectly, the other one is kind of, uh, well that one's kind of, uh, but I think if I replace the pins it'll work perfectly too. Four controllers, two AC adapters, one RF switch, 13 games, and that wonderful case. I only paid 30 bucks, guys. 
Not bad. I think that's a real good haul considering those two games there, based on what I researched on eBay, is 50 bucks. But I'll be keeping those. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, you know, this is Rock Nut here. And again, you know, as always, throw me a like, throw me a comment, and subscribe, of course, to keep up to date with all my new videos coming out. Uh, hopefully, I'll be having another pickup video next week. Um, and hopefully, it'll be a Genesis. Yeah, I, I'm in the works. That's my big news right now is I'm in the works of getting a Genesis. Um, been talking to a lady off and on for a while. Uh, she just can't come to a price right now. She's got about 15 loose cart games, a Genesis 2 controllers, all the hookups, says everything works. So I, I've sent my offer to her and let's see if she responds. Anyways, guys, you know, give me a like for all, for all the sweet pickups I've been doing so far. You know, comment in the section below about some of these games here that I haven't heard about yet. Tell me what you think. And maybe, just maybe, I might do some videos on these games. Anyways, guys, uh, as always, rock on!